Postman Pete, written by Val Marshall and Bowen Tester, illustrated by Marjorie Gardner. In Plimpton lived a postman. His name was Postman Pete. He delivered the mail on his bike to people in the street. And whether the day was hot or cold, through the sun or rain or sleet, the town folks knew that they could rely on good old Postman Pete. An odd-shaped packet was in his bag for Mr. Nicholas Sweet. It was soft and funny. An Easter bunny? No, a toy for his birthday treat. A letter was sent from Africa for Miss Greenslade Sledge. It had a very unusual stamp and stripes right round the edge. Dear Miss Greenslade Sledge, your Uncle Perry has left you in his will his entire animal and reptile collection because he knew you would love them. Would you please arrange to come and collect the 120 animals as soon as possible? A postcard came from far away for Miss Priscilla Blunt. It had a message on the back and a photo on the front. Priscilla, I miss you. Marry me. Love, Captain Fred. A long brown letter came from town for Mr. Humphrey Flack. It said confidential on the front and private on the back. I wonder what on earth come in and have a cup of tea while I open this, would you, Pete? Pete, from now on, call me Sir Humphrey. A cardboard tube was in the mail for Miss Teresa Trim. It wasn't flat like an envelope, but round like a rolling pin. Remember, keep fit, eat fit, do fit, think fit, and be fit. An envelope with a window came for Mr. William Pickett. Oh no, he cried, it cannot be, please not a parking ticket. I've won a new car. Congratulations, you are the major winner of our recent Win a Porsche competition. A narrow box was in his bag addressed to Mrs. Shute. Pete wondered what it could be inside, a giant pencil, a flute? But one day Postman Pete delivered to Miss Samantha Roy a gorgeous parcel tied with bows that made her jump for joy. Samantha gave it back to Pete and said, It's not for me. We ordered it last week for you, so look inside and see. We love you. Thank you from all of us. XOXOXO. Pete still lives in Plimpton and brings the mail each day, but now he's cool and comfortable as he goes upon his way.